Welcome back, guys. It's Speed coming back to the brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today, we are back with the Intrigue going for win number 343 in a row. So, without further ado, let's get right into the run, get some gaming going on, have a little bit of fun, and see where this run takes us as Eden on hard mode. I hope you guys are all having a great old day. Today, we start off with Spirit of the Night, I think is what this is. Uh, mom's uh, Box of Friends, Mom's Lock, 25% chance for a random mom item. And above average damage, below average tier rate. The seed is W H W D B G C D P. And I hope you guys are ready for a run today. If you guys are wondering why there was no run yesterday, um, I like just couldn't like. I got home from work yesterday. I had a full night of sleep. It's just the night before that I didn't get enough sleep apparently. And I was just like, I got home and I just could not think straight. I literally just could not like even. I couldn't even. I, I just couldn't think. I was just like, oh. So I sat down, opened Streamlabs and everything. I was about to like do my intro. I'm just like, <laughs> like no, I'm, like, I'm just not gonna record tonight. This is okay. Um, but now we're here. Now, now I'm recording. Now it's gonna be a sick run. We get a pretty crazy start with all this health. So I mean, can't be too mad. Roid Rage, not bad. Huge speed up. Doesn't give us any stats that help us with our DPS, but gives us stats that make it so we can run around a little bit more and be a little bit more, more. Uh, I don't know. We can run away easier. It's going to be great. We are going to be perfectly fine. Now, I am a little faster than I'm used to in this early in the run. I am actually zooming and not having high tier rate actually gives me a little bit of anxiety right here. I'm just like, I feel like I can't move fast enough. And I am going to go blow up the tender rock at the end of the floor. It is smart to just like scope out the entire floor before using any bombs or keys. Uh, just because just so you know what, what like what everything is. As you saw, we did have mom's knife for a second there. That is one of the items that mom's lock blocks can um activate which is interesting it's one of those ones that you would not expect as much it is a mom item but i just never expect it thank you can you come over here actually oh my gosh come back over here okay come back over here thank you now that right there is called efficiency now i am almost positive the secret room's right here so i'm doing it i know i said wait till the end of the room or right under the floor but not today and lost contact really really good but really really bad with low tier eight not an item that you really want to take super early in a run um like like i probably should have waited wait until at least after the boss fight because what's going to happen right now is if a boss shoots out a lot of tears i'm just never going to hit that boss am i going to like not get hit by any of its tears yes so i will survive the boss will survive and pretty much nothing will happen the entire time which is sick you know like right here this is fine um shield tears doesn't actually do much for me here but it's good. I can I can get in, do my damage, and Duke of Fly is actually one of the more annoying bosses. Just because if you don't have enough damage, it's hard to clear all the flies out fast enough. So one strategy that I kind of go with is just shooting the flies as much as I can, but trying to shoot Duke of Flies more than anything. Now if you just shoot the flies, you're getting to get to a point where Duke of Flies just keeps summoning more. So just try to damage him as much as you can, and then just fight the flies when it need be. And like right here, it's a little bit rough, but I should be okay. They don't they're not that strong so like you can kind of run away or <laughs> they're not fast or strong so you can run away from them pretty easily that was just bad damage i took right there nice and i'm just gonna go in i want to use a bomb here but i'm not going to because i know i only have the one so i will just sit here and die a little bit in agony we're fine like if i had a little bit more tier rate there it would have been much nicer i'd rather have like 3.5 damage there and then regular tier rate i know my tier rate's not that low i literally have 2.4 tier rate but it's still not high enough in my opinion i would like a lot more than that but since we have flight this run since we have a good amount of resources right now i'm gonna go back and blow up the secret rock or ten not secret rock ten rock and i think we should be good it's probably gonna give me like just a soul heart that'd be nice anyways yeah so we'll take that we'll run with it and i do want a different active item at some point but for right now we're gaming and i don't know why was my tier rate actually oh my tier rate was higher because we got mom's perfume for the room i believe something like that i was wondering why our tier is actually higher i was complaining about tier rate then realized my tier is actually much higher than i realized it was only for that room uh now pointy rib one of those items that if you find you just take it. it it's so good early game because it does so much damage it's like worse mom's knife but like worse in like a good way um i mean it's, it's still good it's not worse in a good way but like it's still good because it's just a crazy amount of damage for just a pokey little 
pokey little item and like nothing can like get too close to you from straight in front of you which is huge like if you just keep doing this you're fine it's gonna kill the enemies eventually it can't really get past you and so it gives you a lot of damage very very quickly which is huge one of the hardest things to deal with on these floors is enemies just getting too close to you and you not being able to like actually do enough damage in time so now we're guaranteed to do enough damage do we have to play a little riskier to get that damage done yes but we're gonna be okay so i don't care about it too too much we're getting a lot of money which is really good because if the shop has anything good in it we are fine and as you see like look how fast we kill things like pointy rib is insane i used to dislike it until i just realized that i mean mom's knife anything that like does like the up close and like high tick damage is crazy like right there things just die that touch it, it it's beautiful it's kind of great and right here i don't think i actually want any of this do i have any on hit effects no i do not okay i think today is gonna be an angel deal run i feel like devil deals just aren't the way i think this is the secret room yeah it is that was a little bit risky because i forgot what was happening and this would get rid of roid rage in exchange for something in exchange for two items from the current pool we're in so i could do that yeah Sorry, I was pausing because I was trying to I was trying to think of like it would get rid of Roid Rage for two items. You would think it would get rid of Spirit of the Night because that is technically our first item, but it gets rid of our first um our first picked up item as Eden. Not the first item. Because if you read it, it is removes the oldest the oldest passive item. Ignoring starting items. Spawns two random items from, because some starting items are like integral to characters. I'm trying to think of which character. Like, if you lose Holy Mantle as Lost, that would be kind of sucky. I feel like that might have been the reason why. I don't know. What else? Who else starts with a passive item? A lot of characters. I mean, Lazarus has Anemia. You know what? I have to come in here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I have a lot of health right now. I'm going to pop this. And that gives us four Black Hearts. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take you and this turns into us this i'm gonna take you and i'm gonna take you and do i want primson bombs probably not i don't have that much health like i do have a lot of health i i have a lot of health right now like don't don't get me wrong i am quite full i'm quite healthy but we are insanely strong right now I, i'm just gonna take the pill bottle because this could give us good stats if we're lucky a full health is not super good for me because guess what i already have full health but what i will do is buy this pop this get this and speed up luck down not my favorite but that was actually really beneficial i mean succubus not my favorite of the familiars but it's a good one we still have so much health i could have taken brimstone bombs um i just don't ever feel like i need brimstone bombs now if you're going for devil deals and you go into a lot of curse rooms you might get cursed to the tower which would be is really good to have with brimstone bombs you just kind of like go crazy with it and interesting i can pop the poop immediately that's kind of cool but other than that that's kind of useless okay and look at this we instantly kill you we instantly kill you and easy peasy and if we can get a bunch of tier eight this round we're gonna be insane we have a lot of damage already because we've gotten a crazy amount of damage items and everybody says take worm friend worm friend's the best ever i just don't love worm friend i'd rather just have pretty much anything else i mean brown nugget kind of bad i will say if you ever see a passive item as the one that is visible it is smart to take that item but i've missed like c-section a good item so many times just by taking like a mid item that i just don't do it anymore now it seems like every time i do take the mystery item we do get like the worst possible thing which is unfortunate but i think it's worth the risk like would worm friend have like won the entire run for us not at all it wouldn't have like made that much of an impact on our run like later in the game at least which i mean the entirety of the game does matter you can die just as easy early as you can late so it, it, it's a it's not the worst item to take and this is a weird room now if i do this i don't want to do this we don't know where the secret room is i'm gonna come in here and just fight rainmaker and like look how much damage we do just with pointy rib and look at that we're done we get another devil deal i'm gonna wait to take this pill always wait to take pills until you've already been in the devil deal i would 
I would take one of you, but you guys are both useless. I don't like Little Delirium. It can turn into Incubus, which is kind of nice. And Damocles is just not worth it. Some of you might be sad that I don't take Damocles, but this early in a run when I'm not guaranteed to like come back to life when I die, it's not worth it. Now, is there a good chance I'll get like a like an extra life item since I'm going Devil Deals? Maybe. It's not even like a it's not even a good chance at, at all. And we look awful. We have mom's wig right now, which we're gonna lose, which I wish we actually had, but. Okay, and I'm just trying to go through as many pills as I can early. That way I know what all the pills are. That is my strategy right now. Uh, I do want to go into the mirror realm because I have a very, very easy time fighting enemies right this second. And I know I could just go in Lost Form. I don't want to get any damage taken, so I'm going to be careful and do this. And I know it's a little bit of damage taken. Could have used Power Pill to get out of there, but we're okay. We're fine. I'm going to come back here, get the white fire, and be A-OK. -okay. So in other news, I've been playing a lot of Terraria, doing a lot of, of just a lot of Terraria. I, I've decided that I was going to do a summoner build. Uh, I usually, I almost always do summoner build on playing Terraria. I was thinking this time I'm going to change it up. I'm going to be a new me and just try doing something I have not tried before. But the first emblem I got was the summoner emblem. And I'm like, you know what? This is fate. <laughs> this is fate. I have to. Now, I'll probably switch into a different build later because you really can switch into a different build at any time. A lot of the equipment doesn't really transfer over, but like it's really it's kind of easy to get the equipment. It's like the biggest part of the grind to get your equipment, but you find a lot of it along the way. The more you just play, the more you just randomly find it. Now, as a summoner, I'm not always uh, on the lookout for equipment on the ground that might like little guys from the enemies that my guy little guys kill, but it's fine. But I'm having a great time. I love Terraria. It's changed a lot since I started playing, and it's just it's just it's just a good game one of the best i will say it is in, in my opinion it is a more solidified game than minecraft and it makes it so good but yeah i am i'm just tired i just don't i just don't sleep enough because i'm just i'm too lazy to sleep if that makes any sense it's like i get to the point where i'm like i should go to sleep i'm like oh i just want to look at tiktok and like i want to do stuff i don't want to be asleep right now sleeping's like it's not a waste of time but like it feels like I'm wasting time. You know, it's it's unfortunate. Also, I, I'm just gonna save this vert pill till I get a good pill and you are dead. Thank you for this. We are out. This has actually been a really, really beneficial floor for us. And can't be mad about anything. Are there any tinder rocks anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Nothing here, nothing here. No tinder rocks there, nothing there. Oh boy, nothing here. I could destroy all the poop. I can probably get at least one penny from the poop, right? Yeah. The thing is, you can get dimes from poop. It's like, it's kind of dumb not to shoot poop, but sometimes I'm too lazy, so I don't do it. And if you're too lazy to do that, you're bad. You should not do that. Don't be like me. Be your own person. And I'm out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. It's the next, it's the next round. Another game that I need to get back into is Dying Light 2. Now, I started playing it with uh, Calvin on stream uh, like a year ago when it came out, and I just started playing it with Carly recently. Um, again, it's a pretty fun game. They really improve a lot on the parkour from the first game, and that's what made me love the first game so much is like they had such a fun parkour system. Like not a lot of games like do parkour well, but Dying Light goes crazy. Uh, also, I will take you. I will buy this just to get another pill. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna do three speed ups. Is that kind of dumb? Maybe, but it's a good. It's a good stat to have up. It makes us a lot faster. I mean, it makes us literally almost max speed, which makes me be able to run through the floors a lot quicker, which makes me happy. And you know what? You know what the main thing that I need in this game is is happiness. If I'm happy, then you guys should be happy. And if you guys are happy, then I'm happy. Now we're just running and gaming. Nice. Ooh, a uh, amnesia pill. I would I almost grabbed it. Until I realized exactly what it was. Okay, uh sacrificing would be a cool maneuver to do. It's just not something I that's huge like really viable for me. We could try it at some point, but no real need to do that. Don't need you. And we are I'm not used to having lots of speed in this game. On most runs, we just end the run with like 0, 0.0 speed. It's like, oh, we just can't move. Hermit? Hermit's which one? It's the one that turns all pickups into the room into their equivalent. And I'm just taking you. 
Book of Invincibility is not bad. Do I just take an Evil Eye? Probably. It's another one of those items that's just not super good. It's such a high luck stat that you need to like actually have it proc like 20% of the time. It's not super good. Um. I'm gonna do something kind of dumb. We're gonna get a bunch of money from that. And the reason you might be like, why are you taking the pill bottle with you? It's not that good. Book of Invisible in a Book of Shadows is definitely better. I do agree, Book of Shadows is is better um than the pill bottle. But if I go crazy enough with the pill bottle, I might be able to get like a tear rate up or something that can like guarantee me better stats. So that's the only reason I'm doing any of this. So I mean I'm just I'm just here for stats. I don't really care too much about invincibility i don't really think i'm gonna like it's not gonna help me too much like book invincibility is good for like it's like fighting a boss that's kind of hard but i don't usually take too much damage to bosses look like at that max speed our hair looks weird with this like little robe i'm fine with it you know it's kind of it's kind of swaggy and look at this butt knife for the win you don't see butt knife actually activate too often if you give me another speed up game i'm going to riot actually let me just kill you. Go crazy. There we go. And I, you might see that I hold the bomb really, really long. The reason why is because I want to throw it like last second, just so they don't like change directions or something. It's a little bit dangerous to do. It's really not something that you need to do whatsoever. I'm just, a, I'm just a little. I like to live life on the edge. I also know when the bombs are gonna explode. And as you see, I, I did not blow myself up there, which means I probably kind of know what I'm doing just a little bit. And white pill equals small. And this is dumb, but I'm going to do it. Health is actually good for us. And is there anything else in the shop that I need? I have a crazy amount of money. And I remember there's a lot in there. And if there's keys in there, I need the keys. There is a key. There is a this. Not bad. And lovers, not super helpful. I'm going to take the full card. This full card can be useful, especially like on depths and mausoleum too. When you just get stuck in the boss fight on Mausoleum 2 and Deaths 2. And let's just throw this over on these. Just look for our crawl space real quick. Maybe Evil Eye would have been better here. I don't know. I just like Evil Eye, Worm Friend. They're not items that are like good. Like nobody, I, like people like them. But they're not like, I feel like they're not going to win me a run. If they do win me a run at some point in the future, I apologize for never taking them. But right now, the chance of that happening quite low. Therefore, I don't need them in my life. I'd rather risk it for a better item or risk it for a much worse item, which is still more fun than just getting a good item. You know, I'd rather get a terrible item than like a me mediocre item, like a terrible in a, in like a fun way, you know? Okay, good. And what are you? Like piggy bank, not terrible in a bad way or a good way. It's just not that it's just it's kind of helpful i might be able to buy some stuff i do want to be able to get chaos if i got chaos this run i'd be a happy camper now blowing up my donation machine this run kind of rough because this is like the most money i've had just like consistently on a run those guys have so much health oh man i was trying to push that it is not budging whatsoever and that means that the special room and the shop are right next to each other i think there's a is there a special room that's going to be over here? I'm confused. Mine is just one of the hardest floors in the game. I swear. I feel like there's not many harder rooms. Like, you go to Mausoleum. <coughs> Jeez. <coughs> I just, like, inhaled some dust. You go to Mausoleum. <coughs> and, like, it's... it's The enemies are pretty terrible, but, like, you're so strong at that point, that's not too bad. So what do I do here? I feel like I just buy battery packs. I'm rich like that. Experimental pill. Burp's not terrible. I'm dumb for this, but I'm doing it. You know what? I'm going to use experimental pill to see if I can get a tier rate up. Mm, nice. 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 Sick. Awesome. Super. Super duper. I'm out of here. Okay. Uh, Where is the secret room? It's not there. It could be here. I've not tested that. Oh. Uh, it is most likely to the left of this room. Now, why did I come in this room first? I want to make sure that could actually be there. I'm not trying to waste my bombs. I have a lot of them. I'm trying to play correctly today. I'm trying to play very smart. And I'm getting all the dimes. 
I am actually bullin. Okay, good. Thank you. I did see uh, Terry commented and said he, he's talking. He was talking about how I do play a lot of other games other than Isaac, and I don't really do much with those. Like I just I just play them in my free time. And he's saying why not record those and edit them? The reason why I don't just record like every game I play is because I don't know. I'm not like that familiar with the games enough to where I feel comfortable editing the content like quickly. Because like if I edit any Binding of Isaac content, it doesn't matter who I'm watching. I can. I can edit it in like 14 seconds because I know every like little thing. I know why people are doing certain things. Like there may be, there might be the rare occasion where there's something I don't actually know. Like I'm trying to think for a long time, like I didn't know exactly how Glyph of Balance could be like used and abused in crazy ways. Um, just get like crazy amounts of soul hearts. I didn't know that kind of stuff. But for the most part, I can edit any of my eyes of content because I know exactly what I'm doing. I know what people like. I know exactly like. I, I, if I'm editing content, I know what to do. Now, if I'm editing a random video, it's pretty easy for me to say something completely wrong to where somebody's gonna be like, you know what, this guy has no clue what he's talking about. Why should I watch his videos? Which is not like a huge concern, but like, it's hard to edit stuff that you're not like, very familiar with. Well, thank you, we're getting all the mob items. GG, okay, uh, I will take, I, don't, I think I'm gonna take Dang, I kind of want to take Abyss. You know what? I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to take Abyss. I was going to take Shovel, but I still could do, I guess. I get a little little secret crawl space right here. And that's actually really good. Capricorn, not a bad item because it gives me a health up, a damage up, a tier 8 up, all the fun stuff. And then I'll come back here. Dang, that's probably for the better. You know what? <laughs> like, I, I know that that's like not a bad thing that just happened to me, but that is so unfortunate. Why does it take you out of the devil deal? I think I knew that, but that's crazy. Like, I just want my, I, I, I don't know. The shovel's better. I know the shovel's better right there. That's so sad though. I know I literally walked down here and I knew it was a dead end. Listen, sometimes you just want a full clear. Don't, don't antagonize me. A broken modem is actually kind of going crazy this run. All right, when I, since I, I've said it's bad in the past. It's been a while, long time since I said it was bad, but it's no longer bad, I promise. Oh, please be stapler. You know what? Backpack would have been sick like 14 seconds ago, game. Too little, too late. I do not want this. Okay, Squeezy, you're actually really good. I, I don't know why I wanted stapler. I don't know why that was what I requested, but it's definitely just not something I needed. And oh, that's scary. Let's not go into the abyss below us. What's good about the uh, the shovel is you only have to use it once to get a crawl space. And so it's not like you, you, like if you mess up, you're fine. You're very fine. So let's go find the item room. I know I'm playing dumb. I'm just trying to go fast. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to get this, this bread as they say. I'm going to go quick and crazy. Thank you. You're, you're, you're. Oh my gosh. I feel like every red chest has like 70% of the red chests this run have been soul hearts. It feels like. I think that might kind of be true. It's not that high. You know, we take left item here. You know what? I'm happy. A tier rate up is better than brother Bobby. I'm sorry, brother Bobby. You were just not the guy I need for this run. And that was like a flawless version of that, that room. I, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I just started running. I was scared running. Okay. And we're actually getting close to conjoined, which isn't terrible. We actually have a crazy amount of tier eight. And how did I not take damage right there? Okay. You are an enemy. I thought you were little brimstone. I got confused about succubus. I, I, I thought that was succubus, not little brimstone. I was just trying to figure out my words. I don't know how to speak. It's bad. Thank you. I keep on like trying to like just scooch my way into the boss room for some reason. Now I'm just going here now because guess what? That's where I need to be. And we're actually much better off than we were a second ago. We're still below average tier rate, which is crazy. It feels like we're actually kind of above average. I think it's because we're just slightly below it that like it just feels kind of fast. It's not actually fast. It's just like 
very rhythmic. It's nice. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. Wasn't paying attention right there. I'm gonna be honest. I'm just going full aggro. And right here, you have to take the devil deal. And the nail's not bad for us actually, because guess what? It gives us the stompy effect, as well as uh, a little bit of health, which can help us find crawl spaces, which we already get. Maybe that's not even good, but it allows me to like step on some things. And you know what? This is a full clear type beat moment where we're going to go all the way through and full clear. Why? Because why not? I could just keep going and like finish this run faster than per usual than than usual. I don't know why I said per right there. I don't think per usual is exactly wrong, but it was kind of extra redundant. Oh my gosh. OK, you know, I am getting all the soul hearts this run. That is crazy. Oh, yeah, you can't hit me, loser. Oh, my God. Okay, Rainbow Worm. I'm to my trinket. Oh, I lost it. Okay, you know what? That just ruined my entire percent chance of getting good stuff. I despise this game now. And we already went in there. I could take Rainbow Worm. Why not? Let's take it for a second. I don't usually take it. It can just be very non-beneficial to your run. That is a D6. And is there any item in any of the rooms that I care about? I don't think so. I don't think there's actually anything for me to reroll. Unless I get an... <sighs> Unless I can get an item from, like, the bomb dude. Which I can try to do. This is not smart, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to go down to, like, 10 bombs. Also, what's wrong with this? Oh, he has a beard. I thought he had, like, a... Just, like destroyed jaw now here's the thing i'm gonna i'm gonna go a little crazy right here and do something kind of kind of silly wacky what i'm gonna do is i'm going to reroll that now could that be a really good bomb item it could be could it turn to a really bad item it could the thing is i will never know what that item was ever ever at all so i just show you guys the seed i think i did i don't know if i actually read it out I'm, i can't remember you know what rotten baby is actually quite good quite quite sick nasty and we already took all the devil deal stuff we have a fully charged shovel and i'm still sad about abyss let me tell you that is the saddest thing that's happened to me in a long time all i wanted was abyss and oh my gosh we are getting all the uh thing trail of tears it does say trail of tears as a flavor flavor text i've been for a long time like thinking that i just made that up i'm like that's pretty that's pretty grim if i made that up now that the game says that i'm like ah oh, yeah 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 that's sick Still a little crazy. I don't know. There's some things that I'm just like, I don't know. Is that, is that okay to, to say? I feel like it's not. To call an item that? I'm not making light of it. I don't know. And also, what is my... It's a little Isaac fly. I kind of like that a lot. It kind of horrified me at first until I realized exactly what it was. Okay. We are still getting, like, crazy amounts of soul hearts. And I feel like this is the super secret room. It is. Now, why did I think that? It kind of just made sense. You know, it looked like it would be, so it did. It did be. Look at that. Guess who has a soul heart they can go get on standby? This guy. And Conjoined is really good right here, uh, simply because of the fact that we do indeed have uh, lost contact, which is good whenever you have multiple tiers. Because now we just, like, we don't even need to hit these shots. They just have to block something and we're fine. I'm going to take you. We're coming here. We're going to use you just for the stompy effect. We're going to go to town and get nothing. But it was a, it was a good time. So we're fine. Okay, nothing's in here. Secret room or item room has to be off of this, right? Has to be. This room is just like somebody's going to die and it's not going to be it's not going to be me. Can this be the secret room, please? I would love that. You stink. I don't need another active item, and that's actually crazy. I've not had to use mascara in a long time, but it is double damage, so you know what? I cannot complain whatsoever. I mean, I don't think anybody would ever complain about using mascara. And this is Gehenna 2, which means we are almost to the last floors. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I can't go to Mega Satan. So this is, like, kind of boring. But D4 is not super boring. I'm not going to do it. D4s just aren't fun to me unless I'm doing like, I don't know, like just if I'm doing a run for like a random character I'm doing completion marks for, I'll D4 like most times, I feel like. It's 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 fun that way. 
like right here it's just like it's not a fun time to d4 because like if i get a bad run it's just miserable and like the purpose of these runs is fun i can take damage right here i'm fine i need to stop taking damage but i can take damage i'm fine i'm gonna take you because i don't need more devil deals in the future and you know what both of these are so crazy that i will just take both of them uh, I do love Backstabber. Backstabber is insane. It looks so similar to Betrayal, to me at least, that I wouldn't take it for a long time. But now that I know that it's like a completely different item that's actually goaded with the saw, I take it every single time. It's actually so good. It makes it so you do more damage to enemies if you hit them in the back. And like, because of the way this game works, half the time you do just hit them in the back. It's like, it's really weird. All right, now I'm not. If you have any piercing effect, you do just hit them in the back and it is quite wild. I don't think this is... Okay, that is going to be a crawl space. I don't know what the crawl space textures exactly are all the time. And jawbone means that we almost have a full skeleton. I wish if you had pointy rib, jawbone, and slip rib, it'd actually, like, create some sort of, like, friendly familiar. That would be really cool and really awesome. But the game does hate us, which is crazy. And I'm quite low on health, but after I finish this one room, I can go up and get... I'll probably stay at the same amount of health i am now after this room because i'll probably just take damage but it's gonna be sick ready and i don't step on these ones because they always shoot you and hurt you you might be like why would you step on them i had to show you guys that if you step on those they hurt you i know it was dumb but some things you have to do to un inform the general public you guys are the general public so you guys don't know better i can't blame you for that <laughs> Okay, uh, where is this secret room? I'm not gonna go back through this entire floor because full clearing this is a little too crazy for me. I could go delir or I could go to hush. That would be interesting. Would I die if I went to hush right now? I believe I would. I don't know. Maybe I could fight hush. I feel like I could actually do pretty good against hush. We will find out nonetheless. Unless I don't do this in time, in, in which case I will not fight hush and will be sad. I actually do a decent amount of damage. We'll come in here, and that's bad. That was dumb damage. You know what? Maybe this isn't the time to go to Hush. Just maybe it isn't. Maybe we shouldn't, though. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we shouldn't. But I'm going to. Okay. So right here, we have everything all charged up. We take you. We get the free key. We take you. Please be a health up. Nope, it's not a health up. Oopsies. And we have no clue how much health we have. We have five hearts of health. We know that for a fact. And dad's key is not terrible. It's not bad at all. And I actually really, really like anti-gravity tears, no matter what I have. And red stew is not terrible. Now, a speed up, not bad. I will take you. Two spades, pretty good. We take you. I do get a damage up after taking this. I get full health and damage up after taking this. And I do want to find a crawl space first. So I will use you I'm just gonna take this because I don't need the other thing I just use this right here nice and fart baby you are gonna save my life fart baby is actually not bad or farting baby whatever it is not terrible it can actually be pretty decent I will take red stew right here and we are gonna go to town let me tell you this is this is the time for us to win Now, if I just tap really fast, most of the tiers I think that Hush has are going to get destroyed. Am I still risking my life a little bit? 100%. I have five hearts of health. I'm in danger at all points in time. But I do a lot of damage. I, I do have uh, Red Stew, which is lucky that I got. We do have Lost Contact, which is really good that I have. My tier rate's not terrible. Uh, I can block most tiers that Hush sends at me by just tapping. And look, I can just do this. If, I, if it gets close to me, I can just go crazy and I can just burst fire. And if, since I backstab, a lot of my attacks do work, or like lots of backstab, or my hits do count as backstab for some reason. You know, especially if I do hit Hush directly in the back. But is this a stupid idea? Yes. Should I really not be doing this? Probably. But I got extra health because of uh, the nail. I have like an extra half heart of health, which I can get hit one extra time technically before I die. Because if I take five hits, I'll be at a half heart of health. Which is not terrible. And right here, I'm actually just going to play the defensive strat of shooting, like, away from me. 
Why? Because I am not going to die here. This is not the plan. We're, this is not the time for me to die. It's actually really easy not to take damage whenever you have crazy, crazy stuff that allows you just to block tears. Because the hardest part about Hush is those purple tears, in my opinion. The flies, pretty easy. Now watch this. I can just actually shield myself in a Fortress of Tears. I think that's the strategy, actually. If I shield myself in a Fortress of Tears that can't, that can block other tears, then can I ever get hit? Is the question. I don't know why I was so worried about this. Now, the main reason that we're doing well right now is because we do indeed have uh, Red Stew, which is quite insanely strong. We have 40 damage right now. So, like, we're fine. Now, right here, I usually would use the Devil Deal card. Oh, I'm taking you. I could use the Devil Deal card right here, but I don't know how much health I have. I know that I do have um, four and a half hearts of health, but is that a little too risky for me to do? In my opinion, yes. So I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to leave the floor and continue on with my life. And I do have four and a half, as you see, four and a half hearts. I did remember I was, I was paying attention because, you know, what, I don't want to die. The thing is... It's one of those things that I, I will never trust myself with knowing how much health I exactly have. Like, should I should I know? I should. Did I know? I did. Do I trust the information as fact? No, I will never. And I do want to make sure that I have a good amount of health before I go to the Devil Deal. So I'm going to wait until we're in Cathedral. Because guess what? No matter what, we don't get a Devil Deal on Hush. We don't get a Devil Deal on Cathedral. And we don't get a Devil Deal on Chest. So it's not like I'm wasting it by not using it now. It is changing what items I will get. But guess what? We don't know what items we would have gotten anyways. So we're not actually missing out on anything. We're just not getting stuff that we're never going to get. So it doesn't matter. It's good. And I do like the nail because it is health generation. They didn't nerf it kind of in repentance to where I think it is stronger, but it is only a half heart. Of, it's a half black heart of health, which is not a lot. A half black heart of health doesn't really do much for you, uh, if I'm being honest. And do we have Exclusivo? No, 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 we don't. What's... Oops, I don't know. I know exactly why things are exploding now. Oh. My favorite item. Crystal key. And of course I have to do this. What the heck? I can't not do this. This is too worth it. If I really want to, I could get out of this by... Um, doing... Going to the devil deal right this second. But there's no reason to. I will use this as well. Just because it is health generation technically. It's not like good enough health generation to really like like lean on too much but it's fine i think i'm just gonna full clear if i have if i have this trinket i feel like it's not bad now devil okay the deal is here haglaz okay haglaz you're coming with me right now we're gonna go see what rocks we can destroy haglaz i don't know why i call it haglaz i kind of like haglaz better than haglaz more fun that way sweet Okay, what do you have? The Wheel of Fortune, what do you have? Two of Diamonds, well that doesn't really help me too much unless I get a crazy Devil Deal item. And you know what, none of this really helps me too much. But I will pop this in here, get extra damage, and go crazy. Uh, Lover's Card does not help me, and should I be full clearing? It really doesn't matter too much. I am not really too concerned about taking damage at this point. Full clearing does allow me to get more charges on my quote-unquote health generation item. It is only half heart of health, but as long as I don't take damage, I am gaining health, always. So gaining health is good for me. Losing health is bad, though. So I run the risk of losing health by doing what I'm doing. But I also can gain health if I do well enough. It's a weird thing. It's like, that's the thing that's hard about, like, should I full clear or not when I'm, like, not super high on health? But, like, I am high enough on health where I could get more. It's, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what the correct decision is ever. Good. No red room. I could have used that earlier game. Thank you very much. And look at this. Look at that damage. Oh my gosh. Why are you guys here? You come in here, pop you, go crazy. And guess what? We have, oh man. Oh man. I didn't realize there was ghosts in those pots. The game fricked me. Fricked me over. That's fine. Um, Sanguindo Bondo. Oh man, I gotta do this. Now, what's good about this right here is I do get to sleep in the bed and get three soul hearts of health, right? 
So I do gain health from that. I can't come here. This is going to be a trap door that don't actually exist because can't have a trap door here. Speed down is crazy. And power pill. We actually get free access here. Yeah, I'm glad I did that correctly because I almost used the power pill to go through that door. Power pill through that door is good. That was a good room. You know what? I'm happy. Now, can we please get some soul hearts here? We cannot. Okay, where is the secret room? Is the game of the day. I don't really know where it can be or will it where it will be. So that makes me have a little bit of a hard time playing. I'm glad I'm not stepping on these pots with enemies again. Kind of crazy if you step on the pots, you don't just instantly kill the enemies. Hey, give me my item back, game. Don't be rude. Okay, where is this secret room? I feel like it's probably beneath this room. I literally have infinite bombs for this floor, so it doesn't matter how many times I bomb. As long as I find the secret room, I am good. Uh, is this it? Right here, please? No? Here? I found it. Okay, you know what? Not as epic as I thought. You know, I'm going to blow these up because that's free money. I'm already at max money, so I don't know why I'm actually doing that. And I'm actually going to leave this floor after getting my Joker card. How is that not the super secret room? I don't know. Okay. Oh my gosh. I did not mean to run straight into you, but guess what? That means I have easy time killing you. And I could go back to see what that one string it was in that chest, but I don't think it matters too much. Okay. None of these are that good. Now, Conehead does give me some health, which allows me to come up here real quick. Which allows me to fight Karampus. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's sick. So dumb. That's Sanguindo Bondo. I was like confused how I took damage there. I was like, that doesn't even make sense. Now, am I going to keep doing it so I can maybe get a damage up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Last time I'm taking damage there. Okay, now this makes us leave the devil deal. And Relic is actually huge. Okay, that's awesome. Every, like, what is it? Every seven to eight rooms, we get a soul heart. And as you see, it makes us exit. We do want, um, Poopupla Poopupla Duplex. It's not terrible. It makes it so it's easier for us to block tiers, I believe. Not bad. I don't really need it too much. The question mark card allows us to use our active item an extra time. So if we had R key, we could use R key twice. Now, are we going to get R key? Probably not. Let's be honest. Especially not from the ultra secret room. But what's in the ultra secret room? Contagion and Mega Bean. Mega Bean looks just like other bean. Linger Bean. I don't get it. Stop giving me a tears down. My tears are already at an abysmal spot game. This game actually hates me so much. Okay. And let's just speed run. You know what? I know where the, the boss is in the very top left, I believe. It's time to go quick. It's not time to fret and, and so, I don't know. And I know, I said I'm speed running, but listen, sometimes you gotta go in these rooms. I'm gonna go back into my metamorphosize strat. I feel like that is the strat. You just do this and look at this. Anybody who comes at me, he can't do anything. Look at that. The metamorphosized strat works wonders. I'm not taking the pad. And look at this. What are you going to do? Come up to me. Oh, guess what? You're dead. What are you going to do? Oh, yeah? Shoot at me? Guess what? You're dead. Like, what do they expect? The only thing I want to know, if you have Polyphemus and Shield of Tears, do you keep some of the how it works I'm confused do you keep some of the the damage does it like penetrate through nope because piercing tears don't anytime you hit a tier with your tier it destroys it i'm confused uh secret room nice no r key there is a dime in this guy that's crazy now do i already have max money yes and do i need to not go in that room i don't have to go in that room Metamorphosize, metamorphosize. A speed up. I was almost not at full speed for a second. That would have been terrifying. You know what? Dead cat gives me Guppy, which is awesome. Guppy is huge here. And Monstro's lung 
not the best item ever, but like, look how fun this is. With um, anti-gravity tears, it's actually pretty good because it's like free tier eight down. Just for like free damage, or for, like, just for free tier eight. It's, it's a tier eight down and it doesn't have the actual effect because it doesn't hold our tears in place. Now if it did, it'd be kind of sucky, but it doesn't. Ready for this? We pop you. Is it one shot? Not a one shot exactly. But there we go. That right there is going to be the run. Super, super fun time. Super, super fun run. The hush part of it was a little bit concerning, but hey, we beat it nonetheless. So I hope you guys did enjoy that video. Hope you guys enjoyed the risk. If you guys did enjoy that, please leave a like, a thumbs up. It really helps me. Helps my channel grow. Thank you guys all for watching. And as always, it's Impreets. Peace out. Bye.